This is our new Scanex in our portfolio called the Scanex Edge. And it is a single track scanner designed to acquire from a size zero, a size one, and a size two. Important to note is this scanner is using our new IDX PSPs, which have an RFID antenna built onto the plate, and that will communicate to the scanner. So this scanner is only going to be able to acquire images from the Air Techniques IDX plates. You are looking at G3620 for the size zero, package of two. You are looking at G3621, which is the size number one, package of two. And then G3622, which is the size number two, package of four like our other phosphor storage plates. These plates will be loaded into our side loading G-series barrel envelopes. And again, this will be available in size zero, one, and two. The size zero is gonna be G8511-0. Size number one is G8511-1. And size number two is available in two separate part numbers. G8511-2 is the standard 300 pack and G8511-2K would be the more economical 1,000 packets of size two barrel envelopes. This is the IDX phosphor storage plate. We have our non-sensitive side and our sensitive side, just like our existing phosphor storage plates. We have our A indicator on both sides. So these are gonna go into our battery envelope where we have a clear side and an opaque side. These are the G-Series side-loading battery envelopes. That will get loaded like so. Goes in, as you see here. We will then take this sticky and unpeel that, disregarding that, and then sealing that up. So now we have a non-exposed plate that can be placed into a patient's mouth. We will then do our exposure. We will take our non-exposed plates and place them into the patient's mouth and expose them as we normally would with the sensitive side facing the tube. Once we've done our exposures, we would then take the plates out of the patient's mouth. We would use a disinfectant wipe, such as Monarch, as we have over here. And I will follow the instructions of the wipe to wipe down plate in the used battery envelope. The next step is going to be activating the ScanX. So we would be doing that with our imaging software called VisionX. And I'm simply going to choose my patient from the patient list. I'm going to choose myself here, John Newman. Once my patient is selected, we have the name selected up over here. This is noting which patient we are about to be acquiring into. I'm going to choose the acquire button, which is this drop down over here. If we're doing single images, I'm just going to select this option here. We will choose what scanner this is. This happens to be the ScanX Edge and momentarily we'll see the status indicator on the scanner indicating that the machine is ready to accept the plate. Now, what you're seeing over here are which cartridges happen to be in the ScanX. So because this machine can do size zero, size one, and size two, they have specific cartridges that would be inserted into the machine itself, depending on what plate we are scanning at the time. So right now the size number two is inserted into the ScanX and that's the first plate that we're gonna scan into the machine. So that's why that is illuminated with S2. Once I do the size two, I will take that out and put in the size zero for this demonstration as well. So with our exposed PSP still in the battery envelope, which has been now wiped down and disinfected, I will then take my notch, which I have on this side and this side over here, and that's gonna allow me to open up the battery envelope like so still being used in normal office daylighting conditions. So we have our ScanX activated and I can tell by the status indicator on the machine and also on screen over here. I will open the door. There's my size two cartridge. I will push the plate in. 
Battery envelope gets discarded, machine is now scanning, and it will eventually drop out of the bottom, fully erased, ready for its next exposure. This machine has two available scan modes for us to scan at. I happen to choose Interall High, which is the highest resolution available on this machine, but there is also a quicker uh, acquisition mode called Interall Standard. We suggest using Interall High because it does produce the best image quality possible out of the machine. So as you see, uh, our image appeared within our Vision X software, and we can insert another size 2. Again. My exposed PSP in the disinfectant battery envelope. We will insert it into the cartridge, like so. As the machine is done scanning the plate, it will then drop out of the bottom as we see our two plates down over here, fully erased, ready to be put in a new barrier envelope for its next exposure. So there I have my two images that we see over here. For the next part, we're going to talk about inserting a size zero cartridge to allow us to scan a size zero phosphor storage plate. So essentially, the size number is always going to face you as the user. So it goes in this way. It does not go in this way. And it is keyed so you could see which is the correct orientation, meaning we have steps on this side where it's a straight wall on that side, indicating it's only going to go in one orientation. So for this, I'm going to take the size number two cartridge out, and you'll notice the LED on the S2 is now turned off, and we will take the size zero or S0 and insert that into the scanner. And in doing so, it now indicates and it knows that a size zero cartridge has been inserted into the machine. So then I will then go choosing my same patient. I will choose my scanner. Now, if you only have one ScanX communicating to the computer and others not registered, you will not have to choose a different scanner every exposure. We have now opened the barrier envelope. I will then rotate it. We will open the flap and insert the plate into the machine. While the battery envelope does not go in, we close the flap. The machine is now scanning that size number zero phosphor storage plate as we see over here, and momentarily it will appear on screen. The LED indicators are telling us um, the status of the machine, so that is our size number zero that has just been acquired. I will then end the acquisition like we see over here and the machine goes back into its ready state until we are ready to accept additional plates. The cassette indicators noted with S0, S1, and S2 will illuminate green depending on which size cassette we have inserted. The power status indicator will flash upon boot up and illuminate a solid white upon idle. The scan job indicator, noted with a check mark, will illuminate green when the system is ready to accept the scan job from the imaging software. However, if we forgot to insert a cartridge into the scanner prior to activating the ScanX, we will see it flash green. Once we've set the scan job from the imaging software to the ScanX edge, the scan LED will illuminate blue, indicating we're ready to insert a plate. If the system ever were to encounter an error, the error status light indicator will illuminate yellow. Please check the software status for further troubleshooting efforts.